Hey guys, welcome back and happy Tuesday. All right, guys, so we're back to talk about some Real Housewives of New Jersey drama, and it has to do with Teresa Judice. I know, surprise, surprise. But we're hearing that her friends and family are asking her to call off her wedding before it's too late. I'm not shocked by this because of all of the allegations, the accusations that have come out from other women who are a part of Louis' past. I mean, it's pretty damning because it's one after another, and it's almost like where there's smoke, there's fire. If it was one woman, okay, maybe we would kind of question and see who's telling the truth here. But when you have multiple people coming forward talking about how this man is not so great, not the same person that we're seeing on TV, I mean, it does make you question things. So we're going to jump right in. But before we do, if you guys haven't already, go ahead, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And with that, let's jump right in. It's time for all your binge-worthy pop culture news. Welcome to Up and Adam. All right, guys. So we did Hot Messy Topics yesterday, and we talked a little bit about Teresa's four-part wedding special. Now, from what we're hearing, the four-part wedding special is not set in stone because it has yet to been, you know, to be taped. So with it not being taped yet, they don't know, will they have more content, less content? They don't actually know what they're going to get out of this. So it's really, I, I can see where they're saying it's not set in stone, kind of take this with a grain of salt, right? I get that part. And I was asking people yesterday, I was asking the panel, do you think Teresa Judai should get her own wedding special? And a lot of people said, yes, don't take four episodes to kind of disrupt our Real Housewives of New Jersey season 13. That's not fair. So just give her her wedding special. And some people are like, wait a minute, four parts. That's ridiculous. Let's do it in one part or two parts. She doesn't need four parts. That's just absolutely absurd. And then some people were like, we don't care to see the wedding, period. Uh, that's a little rough because we've watched some other housewives get married in the past. And I think it's only fair, but then Jason made a great point too. Caroline Stanberry from the real housewives of Dubai just managed to do her wedding in an episode and a half with all of these other women. So I don't really know about a four part wedding special. Now, where the drama comes in is D Dina Manzo. This is sort of the factor that nobody knows or, you know, we don't know the truth. From what we're hearing, Dina Manzo backed out of the wedding because she didn't want to be around the cameras. That was one theory. The second theory was that she and her husband don't necessarily like Louie. Her husband doesn't like Louie. They don't get along and they don't think that he's a great guy. Now, Teresa's rep has denied all of these claims and says that, you know, they're better than ever and that they're so excited to celebrate Teresa and Louis and their wedding after the wedding's over. But Dina doesn't want to be around the camera, so she's going to wait until then. She's made it very clear in the past, Dina, that she does not want to be a part of the Real Housewives of New Jersey. And she had a really traumatizing event happen. I mean, she had her ex come in and literally try to kill her and her husband. I wouldn't want to be around people or cameras or expose myself or have people know where I live or what's going on in my life. If, you know, someone is capable of doing that, which people are, and they do it every day, I think that would be terrifying. And no, I wouldn't want to put my business out there either. Just like Marlo Hampton, just, you know, she almost got robbed. And then we have Dorit Kinsley. She got robbed at gunpoint. When you're showcasing your life and where you live, it just gives people that much more access to know what's happening behind your walls, behind your doors. And that's scary. That makes sense. Now, when it comes to her husband not liking Louis, he, I mean, I don't think he would be the first guy who's expressed his concern if that is in fact true. We're hearing that some of her castmates are expressing their concern, asking Teresa to really think about this wedding and, you know, should you do it? Because of all of the women coming forward, there was one woman, and I don't know if you guys remember this, but her name was Vanessa Riser, is Vanessa Riser, and she was accusing Louis of pushing her into a metal pole. This is his former fiance, and this happened back in 2012. And it wasn't the first time he'd been accused of acting inappropriately with women. When Louis' exes came forward, Teresa seems to, from what people are saying, she's laughing it off when her friends are rightfully concerned. And if you express your concern, she's going to blacklist you, which I can see that 1000%. Teresa does not let anyone talk about her family, talk about the person that she's in a relationship with. That's just not how she operates. And she does get very dismissive and defensive. We've seen that 
after you know 12 years of her being on the show or 12 seasons, we've definitely seen the side of Teresa. It's not like a big shock factor, right? But I do think, I mean, I, I guess I'm just curious because if they're doing a wedding special, Teresa's main storyline this season is still going to be the fact that she's getting married. We've added some other women into the mix, but she is definitely going to be talking about it. She's going to be talking about her engagement and getting married. And they're going to showcase her big new house with Louis that they finished because I know for a fact that photos came out that they filmed a housewarming party at Teresa's house. And this was a housewarming party that Joe Gorgo was not a part of because he just got into an altercation with Louis. So that's one person down. Then you're talking about Dina's husband also not liking Louis. Okay, that's two people. And I bet you some of the other women like Dolores with Polly or Jennifer Aiden with Bill, those husbands probably don't care enough to express their concern. But for Teresa's brother, it would, you know, it would make sense, especially watching the finale of season 12, where he's talking to Louis and he's like, look, man, He's like, what's going on with you? What's going on with all of these women coming forward? What, tell me, what's happening? And he was like, these women are crazy. They all just want some att attention because I'm with your sister and they're just making this stuff up. And Joe's like, I don't know about that. I don't know if these women are making things up because it looks really sketchy. It's not one woman. It's not two women. It's multiple women. So I feel like, again, where there's smoke, there's fire. But I don't want to just give you guys this information and not ask your opinions. I really am so curious what you think. If you had to guess who was, you know, talking behind Teresa's back and trying to persuade her or talk about their upcoming nuptials, trying to persuade her not to get married, who do you think on the cast that that would be? I mean, Louis has been defending Margaret Josephs. I don't think it would be Margaret. Dolores and Jennifer Aiden, they've just been added to her bridal party, so it can't be them. Melissa Gorga doesn't seem to step up and say too much to Teresa. She just seems like she tries to stay out of the you know family drama because there's already enough family drama. So maybe it's Joe Gorga. Maybe it's Joe Gorga and Dina Manzo and Dina Manzo's husband. Maybe it's the new women. I have questions. I have questions to which I need answers, but what I do know for sure is if there is a four-part wedding special, I will be watching it. We will be covering it, and I'm just ready for season 13 of The Real Housewives of New Jersey, which is expected to air either sometime this fall or at the beginning of 2023. I feel like these housewives are keeping our years rolling. So again, comment with your unfiltered opinions. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And with that, we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Love you.